force distance graphs. Okay, so this should be very similar to the graph you got in today's lab, where you are graphing force in newtons along the y-axis and a distance in meters along the x-axis. And it was a linear relationship with some slope, which we called k from Hooke's Law. So when we found the area under the graph, it, the shape is a triangle. The area of that's one half base times height. So one half times the base as x, and the height is a function kx. So it's one half times x times kx, which when you simplify it, you get one half kx squared. Now, if you were in class today, Hopefully you made the connection that, hey, that was the expression for potential energy stored in a spring. Hmm. All right, so maybe what about this graph? So now I'm going to graph a different force on the y-axis. Let's call it my weight, all right, in newtons. So this is my force, the force due to gravity of the Earth acting on me. And it doesn't vary based on my height, especially not at 10 meters above the ground. So it's a straight line. So if I wanted the area under this graph, what would it be? Well, it's a rectangle, so it's just base times height. So the base is h, all right, for height. And the height of the graph, I know it's a little confusing, all right, is my weight, mg otherwise known as MGH. Well, that's my gravitational potential energy at that height. Huh. So let's look at units. All right, so if I want newtons times meters, all right, because there may be some coefficient in there if it's, at, say, a triangle to have a one-half, but one-half doesn't have units. So I want force times a distance. Does that equal joules? Okay, so here a newton, all right, is a kilogram times meters per second squared. If you don't believe me, remember that net force equals mass times acceleration. Okay, all right, and then the meter stays the same. On the right-hand side, all right, I'm using this one for energy. The best energy equation that people remember is that one-half mv squared for kinetic energy. So kilograms for mass and then a velocity squared is meters per second quantity squared. So both sides, I have kilograms once, I have meters squared, and that's all divided by seconds squared. Yep, the units work. So the area under a force distance graph is energy. We will look at the difference between conservative forces and non-conservative forces next, but if you're given a force distance graph and asked about energy, or remember work is also measured in joules, okay, that's what they're asking for.